Today I'll talk on association rule in data mining. In data mining, association rule learning is a popular and well-researched method for discovering interesting relations between variables in large database. In data mining, association rules are useful for analyzing and predicting the customer behavior. Association rules are if-then statements that help uncover the relationships between unrelated data in a relational database or other information repository. An example of the association rule would be if a customer buys an bread, he is 80% likely to purchase butter also. It expresses how items or objects are related to each other and how they tend to group together. Consider another example. In a supermarket, if a customer buys onions and potatoes together, he is likely to buy tomatoes also. Such information can be used as a basis for marketing activities such as product promotion or product pricing. Parts of Association Rule as we seen in the earlier example, if a person gets bread, he is likely to get butter also with some percentages 20 and 45. What it is? 20 percentage is support and 45 percentage is confidence. We will see in detail. Bread is accident. Butter is consequent, 20% is support, 45% is confidence. Support and confidence are two popular measurements. Support denotes the probability that contains both A and B. Confidence denotes the probability that a transaction contains A also contains B. We will see in uh, detail with example. It will be, you could understand it easily. Consider this example. Looking for people purchasing bread. Total number of transactions in a supermarket is 100. Out of 100 transactions at supermarket, in 20 transactions, people are purchasing bread. So, 20 by 100 into 100 equal to 20%, which is support. In this 20 transaction, in 9 transactions, people who are getting bread also gets butter. So, 9 by 20 into 100 equal to 45%, which is confidence. Now, you would have understand about confidence and support. Next is types of association rule. There are three types of association rule. They are single dimensional association rule, multi dimensional association rule and hybrid association rule. We will see one by one. In single dimensional association rule, have one dimensions or predicate. That is, items in a rule refer to only one dimension or predicate. Consider this example. If a person gets bread, he gets butter. So, here you have only one dimension that is buying. Next one is multidimensional association rule. As the name indicates, it has two or more dimensions. Consider the example. If a person of age 22 and occupation is IT buys laptop. Here you have 
three dimensions. One is occupation, the next one is age and the last one is by. In multidimensional association rule, the predicates or dimensions should not be repeated. But in hybrid dimensional association rule, predicates or dimensions can be repeated. Consider this example. If a person at 5 o'clock gets tea, he is likely to get biscuit also. Here, the dimension by is repeated. So, in hybrid dimensional rule, the repetitions are allowed. Association rules are used in various fields. We will see few fields over here. They are web usage mining, banking, bioinformatics, market based analysis and credit debit card analysis. And the last one is product clustering and catalog design. These are the algorithms used to mine the association rules. A priori algorithm, Elcott algorithm, FP growth algorithm. Of all these, a priori algorithm is the best one. Thus, the association rule is explained. Thank you.